how to run Agent Zero for free. In this video, I will show you how to use Agent Zero with local models and free APIs. Make sure to watch the previous video about how to install Agent Zero and also make sure you have the latest version, which right now is 0.6.4. It contains some bug fixes for Olama, so make sure you are up to date. Let's start by opening the initialize.py file in the project root. This is where you can select the main chat model for your agent, the utility model and embedding model for the memory. By default, it is set to OpenAI, GPT-40 mini as chat and text embedding three small as embedding. I recommend using OpenAI for agent zero because these models are very cheap and high quality, but if you want to go fully free or local, I will show you how to change this file accordingly. Before we get to local models, let me show you how to run Agent Zero for free using one of the free APIs. At grog.com, you can go to developers, start building, and here I am already signed in, but you will have to create your account. It's for free and you can just log in using your Google account. And in the API key section, you can create a new API key and copy that key into the .env file right next to the API key, Grok. Grok is a great online service. It will allow you to run all of these models completely for free, including Llama 3.170b, which is a model you will most probably not be able to run locally on your machine. The only limitation is the number of requests per minute, requests per day, and tokens per minute. But still, these limits are high enough for Agent Zero to work smoothly. If you hit any errors regarding these limits, you can change the settings in initialize.py file here, like the rate limit of requests per minute and tokens per minute, so that Agent Zero will wait when it gets close to these limits. Now, let me show you Grok in action. So I will comment this line out with get OpenAI chat, and I will uncomment this line with get Grok chat. The model is specified here. We will be using the Llama 3.170b model. And I will also comment out the OpenAI get embedding model, and I will replace it with get hugging face embedding. This model will run locally on my machine. It doesn't need any additional installations. So now we got completely rid of OpenAI API. OK, now I started the runui.py. The UI has started and I can talk to my Grok model. Let's say hi. And as you can see, the model is very fast. And it's also much more capable than 8B models. Sometimes you will have to wait a second or two for the response to start generating. Grok has some cues if there's high traffic, but most of the time it is very fast and responsive. And by the way, Grok is also the fastest inference provider out there. As you can see with Llama 3.170b, it generates 250 tokens per second. So even if you have the hardware to run 3.170b model, you will get nowhere near this speed. And that is because Grok is manufacturing its own hardware, their language processing units. And so far, these are the fastest out there. So with Grok, you have the benefit of running good quality models, the fastest way possible, and also for free. I would definitely recommend that over running your models locally if your main concern is not privacy. Another great service you can use is openrouter.ai. Here, again, you can sign up with your Google account. Here, under your profile icon in the keys section, you can create an API key and copy it to the .env file, just like with Grok. This time, right next to the API key open router line. And here you can browse your models, filter them by free, and select top weekly models. And here you can see a collection of models that you can run for free using open router API. So let's try this. 405 billion parameter model. Obviously, this will be much slower than Llama 370b on Grok, 
but let's see how this will perform. Let's copy the model name, comment this line out, and uncomment the get open router chat line. And I think I already have the model name here. Yeah. Okay. Let's restart the agent. And let's see here. Okay, as you can see, it is much slower than 70B on Grog, but that's understandable. And it seems to work. The quality of the output should be even better than Llama 3 70B, but as you can see, it is much slower and there will be some rate limits as well, probably even lower than on Grok. But you can select any of their supported models here. You can use Llama 3 8B, you can use a Reflection 70B if you want to try. And this is how the Reflection 70B model actually works with Agent Zero. There seems to be much more traffic on this model, so it seems to be slower. It seems to have much bigger delay when responding, but it seems to work. So now you can even use the brand new reflection model for your Agent Zero. So these are two ways to run your Agent Zero fast and free. If you insist on running your models completely locally, we can start with Olama. Go to olama.com and download the installer for your platform. The installation is very simple, so I will not be going through that process. Once Olama is installed, you need to download a model to be able to use it. So we can go to Models section on their website and select Llama 3.1, for example. Here you can select a specific version. I will go with the default and copy this command llama run llama 3.1 and paste it into my terminal. Olama has to be running in the background, but if it's not, it should be started by this command as well. My model has already been downloaded in the previous test, so right now I can start using it in the terminal already. If you don't yet have the model. Let me show you this one on my Windows machine. I will open the PowerShell and paste the same. It will first have to download the model, which will take a while. Olama will automatically serve an API endpoint. You can see that when you type Olama serve into the terminal. This will show you the URL address of the endpoint, and you can put this address to the .env file. In the example.env, the default address and port is already there, so you will probably don't have to change this unless your address is different for some reason. I don't need my terminal anymore. I am back in Visual Studio Code. I have Olama running in the background, and I uncommented this line get Olama chat. And I specified the model name, and I also uncommented this embedding, get Olama embedding line, so that I can use Olama for both the chat model, the utility model, and embedding. For embedding, I will use Gnomic embed text model. Again, you will have to download this model first, so you will have to run Olama run Gnomic embed text in your terminal before you run it with your agent. UI is running. And I should be able to talk to my agent inside Olama. You can see the GPU spinning. And it works. Don't expect miracles from Llama 3.1 8B right now to get the time he tries to use the knowledge tool. I have to tell him 
use code to get him back on track. But I will show you even a better small model you can use with Olama. The model is Gemma 2. Like just, again, you will have to download the model using Olama run Gemma 2 latest and restart it in zero. Gemma 2 is a 9 billion parameter model, but it gives better results than Llama 3.18b. It will take a second or two now because the model has to be copied to my video memory first. Then the GPU will spin up. Now I will get the response. And with the get time example, Gemma 2 model will use code execution tool instead of trying the knowledge tool first. It might be a hit or miss. In some scenarios, Llama 3.1 might be better than Gemma 2. But overall, I like Gemma better. Even when there were bugs in the framework and the context window was limited to 2000 tokens, so the conversation with the system prompt did not fully fit into that context window, Gemma 2 was still able to produce a valid output even with limited instructions. I am running these examples on my Mac because on my Windows machine the GPU is not compatible with Olama. That is probably not going to be your problem, most GPUs are compatible, but still the model needs to fit into your video memory. If it doesn't fit into your video memory, it will be ran on your CPU and that will be very slow. So if you notice your model being very slow, maybe try a smaller model that will fit into your VRAM. Another application you can use with Agent Zero for local models is LM Studio at lmstudio.ai. Here you can download the installer for your operating system. Again, the installation is very simple. And once you run LM Studio, you can select or search for various models here. This is Lama 3.18b, so let's download this one. And I will also download the embedding model, the same nomic model as with Olama. So search for that. And I will find the version nomic embed text v1.5 ggf. And here in variants, I will scroll down and download the full precision variant. 274 megabytes. Once both models are downloaded, I can go to the local server tab. I can select the chat model, Llama 3.1 here, and the embedding model, Nomic Embed Text here. All right. Here in these examples, I can see the full name of the model, which I am going to copy and paste into my initialize.py file here where the get lm studio chat line is and i do the same for embedding i can find the exact name of the embedding model here in the embeddings tab copy this and paste it here so now Agent Zero is set up to use the Llama 3.18b and the Nomic Embed text both running in LM Studio. So let's run the framework and check it in the UI. And it seems to work exactly the same with Llama 3.18b as in the Olama. One thing I noticed with LM Studio is that the GPU doesn't seem to be fully utilized. So maybe Llama 3. Maybe Olama is better optimized and will result in a faster inference. But I have no proof for that. Even with this tutorial, I had to quick fix a few bugs especially with the LM Studio, so I will be uploading a new version of Agent Zero 
along with this video. So again, make sure you are running the latest version. And if you don't need to run your models locally, just use one of the free APIs. It is faster and easier. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you find this video useful and I hope you enjoy playing with your Agent Zero and see you next time.